So what do you do when you find yourself in a position where in the Central American Cup, if you win the competition, you will end up in the round of 16 of the competition you really want to win, the CONCACAF Champions Cup? Why, you just go and raid your top competition, of course. Welcome back, everyone, to episode number 64 of the American Dream. I'm Mr. Cellophane. If you've enjoyed the series so far, you know what to do. Hit like and subscribe, please, and thank you. Let me introduce you to U20 international Daniel Coronel. He's out of Paraguay, 23 years old, and he is a beast. Six foot five, 200 pounds to really shore up that center back position. Add to the depth that we have with Freddy Gonzalez and Carlos Barantes. But you notice I left a name off. That is because we did part company, finally, with 29-year-old Nassim Innocente. Just the one international cap for such a talented player was a bit of a waste. He was falling down our depth chart, obviously getting a little bit older. $450,000, and he is off to Dunstrada. Matches in the Central American Cup coming up against Real Esteli and Coronel's former club, Real Sociedad, in just a minute. But one match in the league we did play. On the road against Liberia, and in the eighth minute, Freddy Gonzalez picking up his first goal of the year, a near post corner header to make it 1-0 Saprisa. We would add a second as Ramirez turns, fires, and scores it past Polskamp to make it 2-0, 61 minutes in. A third goal would be on the way. Gonzalez's header off of the crossbar falls to Steven Aquista, who puts it home, but we would let Liberia back into this one. Jimenez sending it into the box. A beautiful touch by Renan Viana in the 83rd minute to get them back within two. They would make it 3-2 and it was Renan Viana one more time. Picking up a brace in the match. Not much Buhani could really do about that one. We did hang on in the late going. Managed 32 shots on goal. Vitantusha hitting the post late on, trying to make it 4-2. But if you take out the last seven or eight minutes of this match, it was an absolute dominant performance in the league from Saprisa. Again, it keeps us at the top of the table. So now we can bring our focus back to group play in the CONCACAF Central American Cup. We are sitting atop Group B on six points after two matches, a plus 11 goal difference. Real Sociedad, our toughest competition, and the team we will end up play in the group today on six points as well, but they have played three matches. It's the second match as well for Real Esteli. They have won one, lost one, a minus two goal difference. Obviously, the goal for us is to win this group, something we failed to do last year. I may have indicated otherwise in yesterday's video, but a hiccup in our final match put us in second place and left us out of the catbird seat, and ultimately, that's how we got eliminated by Olympia. We've got Bueni in goal, a back four of Bakar Gonzalez, Coronel making his debut next to Gonzalez and Hugo Cordero. Aquista and Valverde will man the midfield. Our wingers are going to be Tusha and Ofori. Lopez on the attack in support of him, Diego Marrera. As the home team and the team sitting on the top of the table, we are naturally favored in this matchup. We have won our last four matches in all competitions, Real Esteli, not as fortunate with two losses in their last two after winning the first three of the year. Again, on top of the table, on six points after two matches played, hoping to run that to nine, take a nice three-point lead over Real Sociedad, which will almost make whatever happens in that match meaningless and we should be able to get out of the group as the number one seed that's the goal the best way to do that and really the only way to do that is to beat Real Esteli at home tonight they do have the benefit of the first highlight ball sent forward Gonzalez though is going to win the header Marrera flipping it ahead looking for Lopez one back by Esteli but they'll turn it over again near the midfield stripe Valverde Taking over for Saprisa, laying it to the far sideline. Cordero up for Ofori, flipping it into the middle. Lopez can't get there before Hansak comes off his line to grab that out of the air and mute any Saprisa threat. We have already played nearly 13 minutes in this match. Saprisa, though, looking to send it forward again. Aquista Marrera quickly up for Lopez, pushing it into the box. Lopez across. Hansak making the save, cleared out wide. And another early threat, if we had gotten that cross 
in, Vitan Tusha was wide open on the left wing. Winning back possession, Lopez along the left edge of the box, into the middle, finds Kelvin Ofori. That's what we needed to do the other time. It's Saprisa 1, Real Esteli 0. We are going to be in situations the way we have our offense currently set up, where when the ball is brought in up the wings, you are going to have either the opposite winger and at least one striker coming in in supports. You'll have three, maybe four guys in the box that you can pass to. A penalty call against Real Esteli and a chance for Saprisa to take the 2-0 lead. And Calvin Ofori does it his seventh goal of the season. He's not even playing all of the minutes. And Saprisa up 2-0. And we have gotten a lot of of penalty attempts so far in the early going and that is because we have so many players going into the box we are overloading the defense and sometimes they have to take drastic measures to try to make things happen played forward again Ofari in control moves it toward the interior still dribbling with it they're giving him a lot of space crossing it over to Bakar he also acres of green in front of him Edge of the box, Steven Akista, great first touch. He'll move it to his right, shoot, and miss that one wide. Great move by Akista. Unfortunately, he just could not apply the finish. But again, 8-0, your shots on goal in favor of Saprisa. Tusha will track down the clearance. Looking back post, but Hansak will handle that. And Real Esteli will look to start up on the attack. Sent long. No Real Esteli players in the area, and it's settled by Coronel. Valverde up ahead. Diego Marrera pushing it out wide to Ofori. Moves it to the left. Marrera with a drive from range. And that's just going to be a little high and strong. Hansak sending it long. Drop down once again. But Real Esteli will be able to gain control in the middle third. Gutierrez can't find Zeladon. Cordero gets his foot in the way. And here comes Ofori again. Look at those guys in the box. Ofori shoots. Hits the top corner. There's his hat trick. 40 minutes in. His eighth of the year. And it's 3-0 Saprisa. Now if only we can get these kind of performances once we hit action in the CONCACAF Champions Cup. I will be a very happy boy. 12-0 your shots on goal. After the initial 45, we have done a fantastic job. Beautiful work. No notes as we head into the second half. Ofori with a free kick from a very dangerous position. A small three-man wall looks for the top corner again. This time he can't curl it inside the post. Beautiful effort, but it comes for naught. Hugo Cordero with a corner from the far side. Lifting it in. It's headed away. Coronel will drop it. Ofori moving it to his right. Shooting again and again just missing the target. I'm not going to complain about it. He's hit the back of the net three times already, including one from the penalty spot. Ofori sending it in. Garcia will clear it, but Lopez gets it to Tusha. Ofori in again, sending it across at the flex and hits the post. Able to be cleared by Real Esteli. Ofori came that close to a fourth goal within the first hour of this match. And now that we have hit the hour mark, Real Esteli has finally gotten themselves a shot on goal. Vitan Tusha is going to come out. We'll get uh, William Ramirez a little bit of playing time. Freddy Gonzalez on a yellow makes me a little bit nervous. We'll give Aaron Vieira the opportunity to come on in as we make a pair of changes with about 25 minutes remaining in this match and a very comfortable 3-0 lead. Diego Moreira now with a corner from the near side into the middle. Can't pick out Vieira. Coronel back for Ofori playing it out wide. Moreira on side. Coronel in the box. Vieira shoots and can't tuck it into that top corner far side. That seems to be a very popular shot location. And Daniel Coronel paying dividends off of the corner. His first goal of the season, except they are wiping that out. They're going to say there was an offside play and one of the Saprisa players was blocking the view of the goalkeeper. Unfortunate, Daniel Coronel with his six foot five frame putting the header on and it would have been 4-0. Except it got called back. William Ramirez in control. Moves it into the center. Still with it. Pushing it forward. Still with it. Ramirez taking it deep. Beats Hansak. Uh, but he does get a fingertip on it and knocks that wide. So another corner. Hugo Cordero to take it from the far side. We've got just under seven minutes left in this match. Looking for Coronel again. Punched away. Ofori drops it. Vieira will play it back to the midfield stripe to Aquista as we look to recycle. Cordero throwing it in back from Ofori. 
Taking it deep. Ofori's got it. Back post. Ramirez drops it to Lopez. His shot will be blocked by Martinez. And Hugo Cordero, another corner kick chance from the far side with five minutes of regular time left. Cordero in. Can't get it on the head of Valverde. Lopez able to clear it. Bacar, though, stepping up in front of the Real Esteli player to start moving it forward. 21-2. to two. The shots on goal in favor of Saprissa. And this match was never in doubt. All we needed was the one player, a hat trick from Kelvin Ofori. Two goals from open play, sandwiching a penalty in the 23rd minute. A dominant performance in continental competition. Nine points out of a possible nine to lead Group B. The win also does win us an automatic berth into the quarterfinal, which puts us one aggregate victory away from this year's CONCACAF Champions Cup. Before we take on Real Sociedad, we are back to the league for one more against our rivals in Alajuelense. There is a player whose name is escaping me right now. We want to sign, but because of the rivalry, won't talk to us. Diego Moreira, though, puts us ahead with a beautiful drive from just inside the box. 1-0. He would add a second in the waning moments of the first half. Two goals on the night. That would be all we needed. A one-on-one save by Hussein Buhene in the waning moments of the second half would preserve the clean sheet. But ultimately, our keeper didn't have a ton to do. Alajuelense getting off seven shots, only two of them finding the target. We absolutely dominated this match from start to finish. And even though Herediano had a game in hand on us, by having played before us, had overtaken us for the top spot, we leapfrogged them once again. And once again, we are leading in the opening stage of the Primera División. One major change as we get set for our final group stage matchup against Honduran side Real Sociedad. Carlos Barantes is coming in in place of Freddy Gonzalez. Freddy is one yellow card away from being suspended. We don't want to lose him for the quarterfinal because that is absolutely key for us in our quest to get back to the CONCACAF Champions Cup. So he will drop down off of the bench. We're just not even risking him at all. But uh, it's going to be Buheni, Bacar, Barantes, Coronel, Cordero, Aquista, Valverde, Tusha, Moreira, Lopez, and Ofori. Now, if this match does get out of hand, we may see the debut, at least on camera, of 16-year-old Hugo Johnson, who came in through our youth intake last year. Hopefully, that's actually going to be the case. Just a cheeky 864 rating for Ofori so far this year, by the way. Real Sociedad is the home team in today's match, so we are on the road, so that's going to make it a little bit tougher. We are still favored in this match. Rodriguez looking to send it long just three minutes in. It settled down. Barantes up ahead. Diego Moreira in a bit of traffic, but he's able to squeeze it free to Aquista. Ahead, Tusha, what a first touch. Takes it deep in the middle. Edward Lopez, no doubt about it. His fourth of the year. Saprisa one. Real Sociedad nil. I do so love when a plan comes together. A couple minutes later, starting it up from the back, Marrera pushing it forward, gets away from one man, feeds it out wide, Ofori, back into the box, Marrera, his shot's going to clatter off of the defenseman, another man with a gorgeous mohawk. Corner kick, though, Marrera is going to take it from the far side. Pitch a little bit thinner than we are used to, and Daniel Coronel finally getting that first goal that he missed out on in the last match. This one not called back for offside. Saprisa 2, Real Sociedad nil. Tio getting it ahead. Ruiz picked off by Aquista. Marrera leaves it for Ofori. Back for Marrera in the mill. Can he get past one man? He'll look for Bacar on the left. Arzu will cut it off. Sent forward by Ruiz. Barantes' header will be handled by Steven Aquista as he retreats back into our own end. Marrera. Lopez from range. That one's going to be a bit too strong. Looking to make it 3-0. Unfortunately, that is not the time it was going to happen. 5-0. Your shots on goal. Make that 6 in favor of Saprisa in the first 15 minutes of this match. And what we were worried about, which would be a very tough match... Ultimately, did not come to pass. Did we just hit the crossbar twice? Yes. Yes, we did. Looks more and more like Hugo Johnson is going to be coming into this match. Brontes, what a header, but that's going to hit the bar and go out. Did, oh, no, Rodriguez did get a hand on it. Football manager, 25. Make it more clear when a goalie makes a save. 
please. And here's Rodriguez to take it, sending it back into our end. Barantes nodding it down, but Ruiz regaining control. Cordero steps in front of that pass. Aquista playing it ahead. Vitan Tush has to come back for it, gets it free to Lopez. His pass forward is blocked. Lopez back with it, though. Out for Ofori on the right wing, taking it deep into the middle. Lopez shoots. Lopez scores. Lopez is offside. He is a very prolific scorer, but he also tends to go a little bit early just a bit too often. Ensuing free kick. Rodriguez sending it long. Barantes back for Marrera. Once ahead again for Lopez. Quickly in the box. Gets past Brooks. He's in one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Tucks it inside off of the far post. His fifth of the year. He's onside. It's 3-0. Got to be honest with you. I was not expecting this kind of demolition derby against Real Sociedad. A team that looked on paper. And especially because of the run for our money that Olympia gave us last year. The Honduran side's looked to be probably our best competition in the entire Central American Cup. But right now, Real Sociedad is kind of rolling over for us, although they do win it back. Arzu into the middle. Argueta finds Posas, who puts it past Buhani, his 10th goal of the year to get them back within two. It's 3-1. So maybe, and, and I'm just spitballing here, maybe I just keep my fat yap shot when I talk about how easy it is for us to win this match because it ain't over yet. There are still more than 50 minutes remaining to play. Anything can happen. Ofori in control. Back for Valverde. Ahead, Marrera. Drops to Aquista. Barantes. Can he work it up the left? Maybe. We do have Bakar wide open, but instead he goes right. There we go. Over to left. Look how much space Bakar ultimately had as he takes it deep. Leaves it back for Tusha. Tusha with a shot, and it will go in his second of the year. Suprise of four. Real Sociedad won. Trying to figure out the best way to describe that because it was kind of a nondescript move by Vitan Tusha, but in the end, a successful one. Arzu around the side. Argueta into the middle. Barantes looking to clear it. Gets some help from Valverde as Tusha looks to gain control. Taken out by Argueta and Real Sociedad shooting themselves in the foot, going down to 10 men in the 43rd minute. Three minutes of stoppage time being played in this first half, about 60 seconds remaining, maybe a little bit more after that red card. Fed out to the right side, Ofori, working against the 10-man Real Sociedad team. Coronel back for Ofori. He'll just dribble it himself up the right wing. Ofori still with it, taking it deep, flipping it in, looking for Tusha. Rivera will clear. Akista ridden off the ball. Arzu comes free, plays it across for Posas, who cannot beat Buhemi. Posas with a great shot at the brace, unable to pull the trigger. And at the half, it's a priest of four, Real Sociedad one. And while I may be getting slightly ahead of myself, Ugo Johnson coming in in the right wing in place of Kelvin Ofori. Hugo Cordero with the corner. Can't find Barrientes. Valverde gets pushed down. Rivera puts his hands to his face. He can't believe what he just did. Penalty shot for Saprissa. We're already up by three. We're already up 11 men to 10. And Barrantes makes it four. His first goal of the year. Saprissa taking the 5-1 lead and this match for all intents and purposes is over but we still have 30 minutes left to play Hichem Bakar up the left side again relatively uncontested cross into the middle Lopez gets his head on it puts it past Rodriguez his sixth of the year second on the night 6-1 I'm sorry did I say second on the night that was Edward Lopez's hat trick goal 20 minutes remaining in this match with the contest well in hand. Edward Lopez will get clapped off. Sebastian Azofefa is coming in in his place. Esteban Morales will replace Carlos Barantes. Yet another youngster getting uh, some game time here. The 18-year-old going up against the Honduran side. And Fabrizio Quiros will come in in place of Diego Moreira. A pair of assists for Moreira. In this match. So another stellar performance for our number 10. Coronel looking to get it started. Ahead, first touch for Johnston. 
Johnson into the middle. We'll just lay it back to Akista. Played wide to the left. Bakar. Morales. Back out for Bakar. We played 77 minutes. Deep for Tusha. Across. And there's Hugo Johnson. His first career goal for Saprisa. 7-1. And I did not think we were going to absolutely run away with this match. But that is absolutely what happened. Bakar on the corner. Coronel nodding it back to Akista outside the box. Feeding it wide right. Bakar. Morales. Back for Bakar. Was he onside? I think so. Akista Morales has his pocket picked by Ruiz and Guevara looking to take it the other way for Real Sociedad. Hoping to add a second and at least make this game somewhat respectable. And they do. Good defensive play, but the free ball comes right to Carlos Cruz, his first of the year at 7-2. So a slight hiccup at the end, but when all is said and done, a very easy win for Saprisa. Edward Lopez with a hat-trick. Daniel Coronel getting his first goal of the year. Carlos Barante scoring from the penalty spot. And oh yeah, 16-year-old Hugo Johnson scoring a goal in the Continental Competition. 32 shots on goal for Saprisa to 9 for Real Sociedad. 5.5 expected goals. We managed 7. We led 4-1 at the half. We cruised to an easy 7-2 7-2 victory. And believe it or not, that absolute demolition job of Real Sociedad dropped them into third in the group, and they did not qualify for the quarterfinal. We did, however, and it's another Clásico de Buen football clash in the Central American Cup. Last year, it was for the Continental Places playoff. This year, it's in the quarterfinal. We're taking on Herediano once again seems to always be the way. If I have one complaint about Football Manager 24 is that it seems like I always get very similar draws, whether it be in a cup or in a continental competition. Maybe it's just me finding patterns that don't really exist. If you like that video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you are new or if you just haven't done so already. Thank you everyone for your support. We've got Herediano in the quarterfinals of the CONCACAF Central American Cup. That's taking place on tomorrow's episode. I'll see you then. Until tomorrow, bye-bye.